Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to take on the TMI tag because this tag has been done by pretty much everybody on YouTube except for me. I'm pretty sure I'm really late on the bandwagon. So I decided this would be a good video for me to do for you guys today because it would help you guys to get to know me better on a more personal level, which I think is very important because I think it's important for you guys to know me as a person and not just what I do makeup wise. So if you want to get to know me a little better, then keep on watching. Surprisingly enough, I'm actually wearing a proper outfit. Usually when I film, I just wear the top and whatever sweatpants or pajama bottoms I feel like wearing for the day. So today I'm just wearing this long sleeve chiffon blouse and just some black and white shorts because after this I'm off to run some errands for the rest of the day. I would say that yes, I am currently in love with my boyfriend, CJ. Yeah, I had a terrible breakup at the time, I thought it was the end of the world, but looking back on that experience now, I realized that it was a learning experience for me, and I had to go through that to become the person who I am today. So if you are going through a tough breakup, just know that it does get better with time. Keep yourself busy, surround yourself with friends and loved ones, and eventually it'll all get better. I believe I am 167 centimeters. I'm not exactly sure what that converts into feet, but yeah, I'm 167 centimeters according to my license. To be honest, I don't know how much I weigh at this current point in time because I'm currently doing a nutritional cleanse slash detox and that means that I'm not really supposed to weigh myself until the halfway point. So I'm nearly there. It's a 30 day detox that I'm doing, 30 day cleanse actually. And um, yeah, I might do a video on it after I'm done with it. But at the moment, I don't know how much I weigh. I have two tattoos, uh, the one on my wrist that you guys always see and also a quote on my left rib yeah on my left rib i only have three or well i classify it as two because like my ears count as one so i have my ears done oh i have actually three piercings oh so <laughs> both of my ears done which i count as one uh, my tragus and also my belly button when it comes to TV shows, I would say number one would definitely be Chuck and Blair. For real life, um, I would have said Beyonce and Jay-Z, but lately I've really been into Kanye and Kim Kardashian West, so yeah, I'm gonna say Kim and Kanye. Like I said, Gossip Girl is my all-time favorite TV show. I have watched the entire um, show in its entirety. Wow, that didn't make sense. I've also really been into Empire and How to Get Away with Murder. Damn, that show is so good. It's one. I love shows that make you think, and that is one of those shows that really makes you think. I don't think I really have a favorite band, which sounds a little pathetic, but I only really ever listen to artists, so unfortunately, I can't think of a fave band off the top of my head. That's actually a really tough question, but I think I'm just going to say I miss my family. I haven't seen them for a while now, but I'm going to visit them soon. Um, I especially miss my brothers, and um, yeah. I don't like this question just because I can't pick a favorite song. I have so many favorite songs. Um, I listen to a wide variety of genres, so I don't have a specific favorite song. I'm the type of person, if I like a song, I'm going to play it over and over and over again on repeat until I get sick of it. So um, yeah, I can't pick a favorite song. <laughs> I am 24 years of age, um, I know in, in real life a lot of people tell me that I look like I just graduated high school, I get that a lot, but yeah, I'm 24, <laughs> nearly 25, so yeah. My zodiac sign is Aquarius and I love being an Aquarius, I think um, Aquarians really fall into the category of thinking a lot and wanting to pull things apart to find out how stuff works and that is totally me. I have to, it, to understand the concept of something, I need to pull it apart and understand every tiny little thing that makes it work and that is so me. <laughs> I'm gonna be a massive cornball and say everything that CJ is, but <laughs> I would say um, 
they have to have a good sense of humor because I love to laugh and somebody who has drive because I feel like it's very important to have your own goals and stuff in life so seeing a man who has um, like goals and stuff that he's working towards is a very good quality in my eyes. I have a vision board on this wall in my room now and it is filled with quotes so I'm like quickly trying to glance over at it and pick out like what my favorite one would be. One that I can see that stands out to me today is she believes she could so she did and basically for me that means that if you believe that you can do something just do it. I really like Kevin Hart because he makes me laugh so much. He's so funny and I love all of his movies. Um, I also like Will Smith. I think that man has not aged a bit. He looks exactly the same now as he did 20 years ago. My favourite colour, uh, as some people might say, is not a colour. I like white. White's my fave colour. If I could, I'd have everything white. I also like black. White and black. I'm so boring. If I'm in the car, I like it to be loud, especially if I've got like a good jam going on. I'm the type of person who likes to be by themselves when they get sad, so I will either go for a drive or just go to my bedroom and lay down. I'm not really the type to go confide, like even CJ will tell you that I don't really confide in him when I'm sad. I kind of just put myself in a ball and stay there and let it settle for a bit and then I'm fine. It depends what I'm doing, like if I'm going to um, shampoo and condition my hair and shave and all that stuff, then I can take like, let's say 10 to 15 minutes, which is really bad, I know. But if I'm just taking a shower, because I only wash my hair once a week, if I'm just taking a normal shower, then I can take like 5 minutes. When I get ready for work, it generally takes me 15 minutes. No, I have never been in a physical fight, I never intend to be, I don't think it's right to resort to violence and I don't see the point in it, um, so yeah, I've never been in a physical fight. Turn on for me would be a guy who smells good, I love me some good cologne. Definite turn off is bad breath, I cannot stand bad breath. You can go from here to like here if you have bad breath. I actually started a different channel years and years ago when I was 17 um, and I discontinued doing that because I just wasn't happy with the quality of my content and I just kind of lost interest but for my 21st birthday I think what 21st or 20 no would it be my 22nd maybe I can't remember 21st or 22nd Either birthday, um, CJ got me this camera right here because he knew that, um, you know, it was something that I always wanted to do. So he kind of got me back into it and I'm so thankful he did. I love making YouTube videos, it's a really good hobby of mine and um, I'm always really proud of the outcome that I get when I edit and when I upload a video and I love that I'm able to make friends with you guys. So. Yeah, the reason why I joined YouTube again would be because of CJ. I'm scared of um, not reaching my goals, I'm scared of failing, I'm scared of disappointing people, and um, I'm scared of losing my loved ones. I cry a lot, but the um, last thing that made me cry, I honestly can't even remember, to be honest. Last time I told someone I love them was this morning when CJ was saying goodbye to me as he was leaving for work. My YouTube name, Lizelle Cosgrove, that's my real name. I am currently in the middle of reading a book. I'm reading Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso, which is the um, creator of Nasty Gal. So it just talks about her story and how she started the company, what she came up from and how she got to be where she is now. And it's just a really interesting book. Like I said, I'm currently reading Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. I wish I had something interesting to tell you guys, but the last TV show that I watched was actually The Simpsons. I am an avid Simpsons lover. I swear, even though I've seen an episode for three times, like three times over, I will watch it again if it's on TV. Like, I will never get sick of The Simpsons. Okay, let's see who I last texted. I last texted CJ just before. 
and he's my boyfriend. I love a lot of food. Um, at the moment I'm really liking Thai, like right now, I'm totally craving for some Pad Thai. That's what I want to eat right now. Let me go opposite and name things, foods that I don't like. I don't like mushrooms or capsicum. Tomatoes, they're okay if they're with something else. But um, mushrooms, definite no-no. I don't understand how people can just have mushrooms on their own, like fried mushrooms. I just, I'm not a fan. I would love to take a relaxing holiday at Bora Bora right now. I honestly want to travel the world. Like, I'd love to go to Italy, um, France, the UK, America. There's just so many places that I want to visit, and I hope that I will be able to do those sometime soon. I haven't left my house in two days, which is really sad to say out loud. Actually, no, the last place I was was um, CJ's parents' place. We went there on Sunday to watch the Pacquiao vs Mayweather fight. Nah, I don't have a crush. I have a boyfriend, not a crush though. That would be this morning when I said goodbye to CJ. I was half asleep, but I'm pretty sure I gave him a kiss goodbye. I don't know. I'm always getting insulted. I never really take anything to heart anymore, I used to, but um, I've, I've learnt and been taught to not take things so literally and seriously because what's the point? Favourite flavour of sweet? That's such a weird question. If I'm going to go with candy, I would say Skittles. I like Skittles. Is that a flavour of sweet? I currently do not play any instruments, but growing up I took violin lessons and that's it. My favorite piece of jewelry would have to be this ring that I always wear. This is my um, Tiffany & Co ring that CJ got for me many years ago. Um, and it's just one of those things that it has a lot of sentimental value to me. So um, it's honestly my favorite and I feel naked if I don't wear it. I freak out. Sometimes I take it off before I go into the shower, but usually I don't. Um, the, the times that I do, if I forget to put it back on, I freak out so bad. I honestly can't remember the last sport I played. Just going, like, just going to the gym or working out count. I actually can't remember the last song I sang. Usually I'm always bopping along and humming to music, but uh, a song that I've been playing a lot lately and probably was the last song that I was jamming along to is You Know You Like It by Luna George, but the DJ Snake remix version. I'm obsessed with that song at the moment. I can't think of any. Usually I can remember what I've heard, but I can't think of any chat up lines, so I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. I don't think I have ever used a chat up line in my life ever, so no. Um, would be CJ, I guess. We spent time together yesterday evening after he played basketball, so that was cool. So he was the last person I hung out with and that was last night. I'm pretty sure everybody on YouTube has done this tag so what I want you guys to do if you're watching is to pick out a few questions and answer them for me down below because I would love to get to know a few things about you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can stay updated with all of my videos. As always, I will see you in my next one. Take care.